if we're going to go forward, we, we kind of need to all hold hands here the best we can and work together. Yeah, I, I think there's just a lot of unknowns that are frustrating. You know, obviously we all want to win and we want to give our players and programs the opportunity to be successful. And uh, there's a lot of limiting factors on a daily basis that are out of our control. Started out January, February as normal and did a lot of really good team building things with uh, the guys and, you know, um, teaching leadership really in the off season has been one of my favorite things to do. But, you know, coming out of last year, I felt like we needed some major improvements in our chemistry and thought those things were going really well. Um, started spring practice, guys were running around and then all of a sudden, you know, COVID-19 kicked in and so nobody anticipated, you know, the break in action we were going to have. Um, so really from that point on, it's just been about how to serve the guys from a distance. If someone that was in close proximity with that player, that, that player's out 14 days, you could take out an entire starting 11 just by contact tracing. Somehow you have to follow the protocol to decide who has been in contact with them. And if you've been deemed that you've been in contact, you're a direct contact, you're out. No questions asked, 14 days, you're out. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you do control is the fact that you don't know what's gonna happen every day, right? And you know, we've challenged each other as coaches in our building and, and uh, challenged our leadership council. You have to really embrace what you have and do the best you, you can with it. You know, I think we kind of took it on as a challenge um, to all of us in the building. First of all, from a coaches and staffing standpoint, just that we feel like whatever team can handle the unknown the best has a leg up. And so let's embrace that. Let's not get frustrated by the fact that things are going to change sometime hourly. And, you know, we're so used to being planners and having long-term things that we can set in place on calendars, but that's just not the reality we're in. I just think there's so many unknowns at this point that it's very, very challenging, I think, for for the decision makers to really get their arms around it. You know, each day it's, it's kind of one of those deals where uh, unlike any other time for all of us, things change daily. And so not just with uh, the COVID virus, but the contact tracing that comes, you know, not even when a kid has it. You have to go through, you know, all the things that go with protecting these guys. Like, I don't know the answers, but I'll try to get them, <laughs> you know. And, just ask. And so that's almost every day you're trying to update them on where this is headed because obviously there's no script. I think our team has um, done a nice job with each other, holding each other accountable to the right and the left. And they're really, there's a lot of leadership on this football team. That's one of the things that makes it a fun team to be around. But it's the older players, you know, the, the guys that are in their final year that really want to have a great season and go out on the right note, you know, that you see speaking up. And, holding guys to a, a place where they can play. are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. For me, it's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. 
It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land and making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. Time's running out to buy America's best-selling brand with our best deals of the summer, like 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Shop online or in person, but hurry while selection is best. The Ford Summer Sales Event ends September 8th. Now during the final days, get a 2020 F-150 with 0 for 72 or up to 10185 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Can you give us an update of where you guys are at right now with your football team, how the protocols are going, and do, do these reports of these clusters coming out, do they bring any concern to you at all? You know, we're testing here every week and we've been good. You know, we've had more scares probably than anything. You know, a guy will have a headache and we gotta hold him out until he gets retested and then he's fine, you know? There's so many things right now that are symptoms, you'd say, of COVID. So every time a guy has one, you pull them out, you quarantine everybody that's in that tracking area. And so we've had more removals, replacements almost a day later because we're getting our testing back really fast right now. And we've had any real issues. Um, but the campuses, as you've seen, you know, that's going to be a, a moving deal here, not just in our state, but others. And Got to leave it up to the campus, you know, to decide how we're going to move forward. Uh, we've talked to the team a lot about it. We're doing it where we know that we're going to have those issues. I think the offensive line um, is one position in particular. Obviously, left tackles can play guard, right tackles can play guard, guards can play center. So we're trying to give those guys the ability to do that. You know, someone asked earlier about playing guys both ways. We haven't done that, but. Um, special teams is an area where you know, we, one of our personal protectors was out today. So we had to slide a guy over and bump guy to a different position on the punt team. So, you know, I think we're talking about it, but we're also doing it and the guys are, are handling it well. I want you to ask yourself right now, okay? Were you specific? Were you focused on it? And did you get it done? If we could just do that, because you guys listened to me yesterday and I thank you for that. That was a much better practice. We didn't have guys going internal. There were guys competing, but guys getting each other better. And there was progress on the field. Progress. And that's how we're going to keep getting better. Hard work, man. God bless you two days in a row. <laughs> Take advantage of it. We want everybody out here. Again, we're trying to bank work one day to the next, next to the next, next to the next. Keep banking it, OK? One last thing, make sure our locker room, guys, is as clean as it can be. Nothing should ever be on the floor when you leave your space. We don't want bacteria crawling from one space to another. They'll be in there spraying all that stuff. Let's keep each other healthy. Everybody got it? Yes, and when the players got back, it was teaching them the same thing. Like, don't be frustrated if it's a different day than you expected. And, you know, trying to help them with the narratives that are out there, there's been so many things going on in college football where this conference does this and this conference does that. What's that mean for our conference? And, and just trying to get them to focus on what we have and, you know, continuing to be very transparent, you know, about what's happening so they're not guessing and trying to read into the news too much, which, you know, as a phone owner, you can understand they're getting things, um, you know, by the minute on what's going on out there. So we have to really do a good job of sharing information uh, with our players, with our players' parents, uh, and then in-house and out-of-house with the people that work with our guys. Uh, I'm proud of them, you know. I think um, it, it's been, for all the young people out there, I think it's been uh, and it continues to be really challenging.
you know. Um, this is an unknown for our world, not just for college football. So just trying to be consistent with them and, and communicate well. But uh, I think they've handled it as well as they can. Uh, there's definitely been tough moments, you know, with what's going on socially also that have added to it and created, um, in my opinion, some opportunities for us to grow together. Uh, I think we've done some really good things that way. You know, my job in this whole thing is just to try to be steady and, and not let the ups and downs impact me and, and the staff and keeping us focused on what we have instead of what we don't, you know. And, and I think that's been kind of our mantra around here is what do we have today, what are we going to do during that time, and let's make the most out of it. But when each and every one of you guys can hold each other accountable and then you got someone to back you, that's when you're doing it right. You guys got me. Yes, I'm telling you, man. Do y'all really believe we can be ACC champions? Yes, sir. We, can, we can be ACC champions, but it takes each and every one of us pulling all up. Now, we got one weak link on this team, we're going to get beat. But I'm telling you, it's you guys that run the show. No great team is great because of a coach. Y'all ain't great because of me. I'm just the guy. Give me you guys a blueprint, and it's up to you guys to take it. Does, it, does that make sense? Yes, y'all got all the gifts and talents in the world. All the gifts. Y'all know what to do on the Wilson. Hey, finish on two, finish on two, one, two, finish. You know, I think the unknown piece has been hard at times for some of them. Like, why are we out here? We don't even know if we're going to play. And then I think when the Big 12 joined in uh, with the SEC and ACC, it gave us a lot of promise uh, that we were going to play. And then you finally got to see some college football on TV last week, and, and that was great for the guys. You know, so I think anytime there's something that kind of adds on to we are going to do this, it helps their motivation. But there's days where it just gets monotonous and tough, and, and you do all that hard work to play games, you know, and, and some of them have been waiting anxiously to get back on that grass, to get back into the wind column, and they want to prove themselves. So helping them have that mindset where they can get better each day, not knowing exactly when we're going to play, because we've already had movement in our schedule, uh, has been challenging for them. But uh, the leadership of the team, I think, has done a nice job leveling that out. Absolutely. You know, you can in, in multiple ways, you know, whether it's um, a physical thing that we're seeing on the field from players that uh, we're trying to make gains from where they were a year ago. Uh, Mecca is a great example. I mean, he's a guy that uh, he'll tell you he was disappointed in how he played. He put a lot of pressure on himself last year and, and I think had long-term goals um, that got in the way of his short-term gains. And I think he's really showing day-to-day -day success right now because of his day-to-day -day focus. And so that's an example. You see uh, emotional gains, too, where guys, you know, in the past maybe were riding a roller coaster a lot in their play and in their emotions and how they handled things. Uh, and you're seeing that now where a guy can stay more level-headed and focus and, and handle a bad play better going into the next play. Um, the physical gain part is harder because we haven't been with them like we normally would over a long period of time when you're talking about body changes. You know, so that part has been more difficult. Um, I think the hardest thing in all this has just been we haven't been able to practice every day like you would in a fall camp. And so there's more space in between days where you're not getting to bank repetitions as quickly. So it's taken a little longer to go through the evaluation process than you normally would in a fall camp period. I can see confidence growing in some of you. I can see it. It's so good to have everybody back out here playing ball again, isn't it? Yes, sir. Man, beautiful day. Take advantage of the cold tubs, get in the shower, sit down, get a good meal. You got no class, you got nowhere to go, man. Let's take care of our bodies. Again, our goal is to come back tomorrow and make it better than today. That's our goal. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Hands up in the air. I got one pack, you got one goal. One pack! One goal! See your coaches! America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land. And making it better. Having something to pass down.
It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. Time's running out to buy America's best-selling brand with our best deals of the summer, like 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Shop online or in person, but hurry while selection is best. The Ford Summer Sales Event ends September 8th. Now during the final days, get a 2020 F-150 with 0 for 72 or up to 10185 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. I think that what's special about our receiver uh, group, not just now, but just going backwards, you know, Steph Lewis and Kelvin Harmon and Jacoby Myers, these guys set a standard on how they work in that room. And they've taken guys under their wings, and these guys are holding each other to it. They make each other do certain things in that room that's different in the way they work, and uh, it pays off, you know. And there is a certain way that Coach McDonald expects those guys to train and practice and be very hard on them. Um, but the nice thing is the players are really – elevating that for him now. There's several guys that were out here for the first time after a long injury. And I know having that myself as a player, that's a big deal. And so welcome back. There's a bunch of them, too many. Hopefully we never suffer through that again. But I know how big that is. CJ Riley, Tyrone Riley, a bunch of guys, man. Let's give it up for a bunch of guys. <laughs> Good day to play football. We ain't got nothing to do after this. Let's just have fun, man. I gotta keep it PG today, you know. You know, I gotta keep it PG. Kids may be watching. No chance. Look, let's look at the camera, bro. If Eric ever tell anybody that he 5'10, that's a that's a lot. That's a lot. He 5'9. You know, CJ came into camp, um, was in really good shape. Uh, like you'd expect, has some rust. He needs to get knocked off and, and made some nice catches. It was good to see him make some contact catches when we had a scrimmage. And um, so he's doing some good things. You know, I think there's hurdles that you go through when you return from an injury, particularly an ACL, that he's got to play a game. You know, he's going to have to get tackled and get over that mental piece of that. But it's fun having him back out there. His enthusiasm and his hunger for the game is, is definitely there. And, I think the perspective you gain as an injured player and, and for him as a twice injured player, how much you really love it and how much you miss it when you're not in it and how much you appreciate it when you get a chance to be out there on the grass, it's, it's very evident. I'm locked in, coach. <laughs> I feel very good, you know, just being back out there with my team, you know, it's been a long year, you know, I haven't played in a whole year, just getting hurt last year in the first game, you know, just getting back, it just, just feel great to be, be back just out there on the grass. I think after my first one, because I've never been hurt, that was the first time I've ever been hurt seriously in football, so I just didn't know what was what would come after that, but just getting through it, you know, it gave me a lot of confidence going through this one. I know I could get through this one because I did it the first time, I could do it again, so, you know, I think the only time I had doubt was after my first one, my freshman year. Uh, you know, it just just having, you know, you have a goal at the end, you know. I really just talked to my mom a lot because when I got hurt, you know, she's the first person I, I called both times just to tell her, like, I didn't know what to do. She told me just stay just stay focused, you know. You came here for a reason, you know. God don't uh, bring it, brought you to the park just to pull you down. So, you know, there's always a plan at the end, you know. You just got to get through it, just keep pushing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the same person every day. I'm a great influence to all you guys. Great leader, right? Great leader. Great leader. Good catch. Good catch, boy. You don't say nothing. I already know, I already know what y'all gonna try to do. 
Yes, sir. Hey, you know what that is? A wool pack? First down. Uh, I learned a lot. I learned that really I'm a fighter, you know, because a lot of times where I didn't want to come to the Murph at all. You know, it was just tough for me just to get out of bed knowing that I couldn't practice, I couldn't play, I couldn't be out there with my teammates, you know. It just, it, I had to fight the mental game myself just to get over a lot of things, you know. I think that's the biggest thing that came out of it, just I know I'm mentally strong because a lot of times I had doubt and I didn't know what to do, but eventually I got over it, just kept fighting, and I'm here today ready to play again. How excited are you to play? And just can't even put in the word. I'm just ready to go back out there. September 19th, you know, just get going. Ever since I've been here, we all talk about winning the ACC championship, and I, that's that's still what I, what I want to do. You know, I feel like we have a good team. You know, but we uh, had a we went through some things last year, but I feel like it made us tough this year. You know, we all stuck together, and we just ready to go out there and play. And I think the ACC championship. That's what we really want the most. And look, it's a mental hurdle. You get past tomorrow, you're gonna play faster. Okay, and I know how big a deal that is. But each day we're out here, we're blessed, aren't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here's what I want you to think about. I want you guys to have passion when you play. And I like when you have an edge. It's not that I don't want you to have attitude or passion. I want it. In fact, I'd be pissed if you don't have it. I want you to have swagger. Immature football teams lose a lot of games. I don't want to be a part of that. Do you? Yes, sir. Last thing. All right, last thing. The reason we put our fists up in the fourth quarter, you'll see a lot of teams do this, four fingers. We do this because we want to knock somebody's ass out and win the game. That's why we do it. Just want to make sure everybody understands why. There was a lot of good things today, man. You know, I like how Tim teaches. He does a really good job compartmentalizing things so they're not just memorizing. There's a system that goes with it and, and he teaches it well. Uh, the words have good word association with them so that guys can understand the why behind why it's named. Uh, and he's got good plays off of plays. So it's been fun watching Tim and the offensive staff work with the players, and they're very comfortable with it. I mean, he's put a lot on them. You know, he's really challenged them mentally. And so there's going to be some mistakes, but it's been fun for me to watch. You know, it's just I think right now our guys want that. They want to be challenged. They want to be pushed being home for so long and they're so competitive, you know, they want to be in that environment where they're having to think and be motivated that way. You know, Tim is uh, first of all, a great teacher and, and not just with quarterbacks. Like he really understands his system. He knows how to teach it. Um, he's got a plan. He does a good job of explaining the whys of what he's doing to the guys. There's a lot of changes terminology wise that the players have had to grasp and they're doing a nice job with that. Uh, Tim's been a high school head coach. He's been a coordinator at many places. He's had a lot of experiences that he can lean on from a leadership standpoint and a play caller standpoint that have been a nice bonus for us to have. And, and his camaraderie with Coach Garrison, they were together for seven years at, at Nebraska. That quarterback O-line camaraderie they have together, I think is really nice to see, you know, with our run game and the pass protection aspect of things. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. It's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land and making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. 
Time's running out to buy America's best-selling brand with our best deals of the summer, like 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Shop online or in person, but hurry while selection is best. The Ford Summer Sales Event ends September 8th. Now during the final days, get a 2020 F-150 with 0 for 72 or up to 10185 in total savings. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola. When you are stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke and share it with a friend. Share a Coke and go Pack. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on these guys. And, and so I've told them, like, there are no bad questions. We're not going to hide a single thing. We're going to tell you everything we know. And just keep raising your hand and asking. And, and the guys have been awesome about it, you know. What I don't want is for a player on our football team to feel like they don't know everything they need to know. I mean, that's the last thing, you know. And we're going to make decisions as a team. We're going to do things together. And we've done that already. It's been really good for them. And I think it helps them mentally to be able to go out there and know that we're all in this. And like I told them, this isn't just the players dealing with it. I mean, our coaches want to stay safe too, you know. I mean, we've got staff members that are in their 60s and we go home to wives and kids. We don't want them to get out, you know. So we're all in this. We're all doing everything we can to protect each other. Because we're all going through the same thing of unknowns and, and what comes with it. So I think that's allowed our team to grow together and become tighter. Um, same thing with what's going on socially. It's allowed our team to really have some conversations that were needed. And it's made us a better football team, a better football family. But I think shared adversity is really important when you talk about growth. And obviously the quarantining, the COVID-19, uh, the, the football season up and down, social unrest, all these things are things that not one player went through. All our players are going through it. All our coaches are going through it with our players. And so it's given us a lot of conversation to have together and grow. You know, I'm proud of our, our guys. And, and I'm obviously very sensitive to their pain. And so I, I let them talk to me about those things. We have great conversations. I have talked to them about focusing on uh, the positive things that you're doing. I think at times we get caught up in, in some of the negativity that's out there and lose sight of the positive things that we are doing. I, I know that Isaiah and, and Pack United and the guys on our team have done a lot of really good things uh, to impact change, not just in our locker room, but uh, around them. Uh, and then you lose sight of it because somebody's being negative. And, you know, I think for every conversation you have, some people are going to get a lot out of it and some people aren't. And you got to choose who you want to focus on at that point. And, and for them, I just keep counseling them not to be frustrated, you know, and not to lose sight of the positive things that they are doing. Uh, there is growth and there is empathy, uh, but there's always going to be people that don't want to grow and you can't let them impact the platform that you have or make you want to quit because of that. And I think just, you know, trying to continue to embrace um, my ability to support them and, and love them and help them through this and, and show them that there is positive things happening. And these are great young men and I stand with them and will continue to. Let me tell y'all like this, we're about to go crazy this year. Let's go, let's get it on up, look at 